So what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy Goofy over here and welcome to another reaction video guys so this time we are going to react to the reddit known as you had one job i think i already had done one of these videos on the same reddit i really enjoy those videos so i thought why not make another one and for you guys to enjoy with me so let's not wait longer let's get to this episode guys let's go boys right. is this right or wrong someone's heart rate is 210 beats in one by one three minutes okay oh it is considered one second per beat yeah one beat per second in for three minutes a person has 210 beats how many beats would you expect in one minute that's a simple calculation you divide the number of beats by the minutes you get that is one beat per second that is the given theory so 70 is the answer but the correct answers are 70 then why did you put wrong i don't and the next answer 70 beats did you forget to mention the beats or is the 70 wrong this is actually correct but i don't know is it right or wrong it is absolutely correct but i don't know who marked it wrong i guess that person should not be given a raise <laughs> oh he should be downgraded from his pay that's all i want to say got my token of gratitude as a healthcare worker at work today notice anything University of Utah, Utah Heat, not health, it's Heat, like Heat Ledger, it's not health. Guys, this is, I don't know, like, the, the, these simple mistakes, it might not be a big thing. But when coming into like universities, like big, big institutions are organizing, giving out know, like medals and stuff and all, if there's a typo in that, People may, some guys may think like, oh no, they such big universities are make such small mistakes and uh, stuff like that and all. But University of Utah hit doesn't mind that, I think so. They did not forget the L, they took the L <laughs> for that. So that's why they put heat in that instead of health. Whose idea was it to put an elastic band around this? What, what's the problem here? Ah, it clearly says do not bend. Maybe it's some kind of a uh, document inside. Like if you bend documents, it'll that'll form a crease line, uh, which would spoil the document and all. And some nut job wanted to make sure that doesn't fall and he bloody put a rubber band. It clearly states that it should please do not bend. I don't know if they even read it or not. Maybe these guys think that well, what will happen if he bend it? Nothing will happen. Put a rubber band. You need more safety and all. Dude, come on, grow up. Everyone should read instead. It clearly states, please do not bend, means that do not bend. That's all. The sticker got a little too sticky. Non stick fry pan. It says non stick and looks like they stuck the sticker on it to it. <laughs> I think it should not be like this and they should have like uh, maybe a piece of paper or maybe attach another layer on top of it and then stick on top of it like it's supposed to say, state that's a non stick fry pan. Because if you use this now, it's so hard to remove the sticker and when you try to remove the sticker, you actually damage the surface of the pan and the food that you try to cook will not get cooked properly and blah. You can just keep on going. These are like simple problems with simple solutions you could have done. I don't know why you don't do it. Whoever renovated our home last... You <laughs> suck. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Okay. I even don't get the idea of what happened here. Like literally, uh, that would have, that should have been a gap over here. And instead of just, he could literally just break the bricks in half and fill up the space or break the amount of brick, size of the brick he wanted to and just fill in the gap. Does he seriously have to like do the opposite way? Was he so much lazy or did he do try to do something else and failed? Yeah, what's happening here? So, these guys should be given a raise. <laughs> That's all. These guys should be definitely be given a raise for doing a good job. <laughs> all right. What's this? The testing site near my school apparently apparently has a special gift. Yes, free COVID for everyone. Come on, just come on, come on, come on in. On the way to your school, just go inside. You'll get free COVID. Just enjoy it and go. See, seriously, guys. One sign, it literally has to say free COVID tests. Come on. 
just a word they missed i would say see i think since the sign wasn't big enough they just wrote free covid and that's all what is all this come on this wasn't supposed to happen okay no chew detergent health stop biting chewing licking and scratching oh i'm guessing that these are type of detergents which animals dislike uh, like animals tend to chew on our uh, carpets or clothes some sort of thing and maybe if you wash them with this detergent maybe they don't do that but literally i think this bottle is chewed up by the same animal <laughs> by some animal by some household pet he says no chew detergent the literally literally the bottle the can which kind of liquid is being chewed up like i said this wasn't supposed to happen come on guys big use your brain all right all right so what's next yes that's definitely not a spot but sponge okay so for the guys out the five guys everyone out there uh what this is is exact is actually it's used to clean utensils like plates and pots after you use them or cook with them and stuff like that. these are used for you cleaning utensils they have like uh, sharp and rough edges which uh, we can be used to like take the grime and dirt from the plates that you used to eat and possibly cook and all this definitely must not be used as a bot sponge because if you use them then literally you will be like peeling your skin off like one rub you will rub on your hand and the next thing you think is all the whole skin will come that's how rough this things will be is clean all the bus points come on elmo born with eyes on the back of his head this i cannot accept at all even the painting the previous one which the guy who painted didn't forget to forget to paint i'll even leave that this one he literally had one job he should stick the eyes on top of the head and that's all Seriously? Seriously dude, oh, he could have done another thing. If you put the eyes on the on the wrong side, he could have at least painted them over and sprayed black paint on the other side. He didn't even do that. He just left it. Nothing I got to say. This guy should not be given a raise. This guy should be kicked out of the job. <laughs> I made a sign boss. Okay. We take R for open out. <laughs> oh my God! Okay. Uh, actually, what is this? Oh, this the signs. The words open and take are mixed out. We are open. Uh, that also should be changed. We are open. That should not like this. We are open for takeout. Oh my God! We are open for takeout. Seriously, if you just take change one word, the whole sentence goes. We are take for open out. Yeah, let's go all out. Let's go all out. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Life saver. Use handbrake. Yes, brilliant. This is the handbrake and the one which used by your hand that's the leg brake. Use your freaking handbrake, dude. Why? You? you don't know where the handbrake is. It's the one that you which you press by your foot. That's the handbrake. Grow up. You need big brains like me to understand this. All right. Uh double stand recruiters being okay. Uh double stand imagine we did this on a cover letter or resume they would freak out. Thank you for applying to. Dear, thank you for interest in company name. We wanted to reach out and assure you we have received your application for the position of job title. We we received we have your application we will contact you shortly next steps. Best regards. See, see the title says it all. Imagine that you are you are, you have a resume for yourself and you just uh, leave space like Uh, thanks for the interest. Like I am applying for a job of space in in your company space. We don't mention the company's name or the what job you are applying, and you just send the resume. Like literally, the 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 caption just suggests they will literally freak out. And now we are getting replies from this: no company name, no job. Maybe that was the company name after all. Thanks for interest in our company name. Maybe the company name was the company name after all. Who knows? That's a mystery in it itself. <laughs> Which one is it, bro? These ingredients. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Someone had a big, big mistake. 
the label suggests it has brown lentils in it i think brown lentils are like grams like spices i'm not sure okay and the ingredients it state the label suggests it table says it has brown lentils and the ingredients it says it has whole red lentils so what should we believe should we go for the brown one or should we go for the red one choice is yours <laughs> Maybe they should keep another pack which is red lentils and whole ingredient it says whole brown lentils. <laughs> imagine that imagine people taking home taking the thing that oppositely want and go home and open the pack hey, this says what <laughs> the expression would be so awesome. Okay. Okay, this is definitely a violin. Yes. I literally have to clap for this guys. Come on. Seriously dude, this Maybe the guy who was uh, printing the thing or adding the text to it didn't know what a violin is. Yeah. Maybe he didn't know. I would assume that that was the reason that he didn't do this work properly. The guy who added the text to it, like the word violin, he, maybe he didn't know what a violin was. Or maybe his co workers didn't tell him. Or maybe he didn't see one in his entire life. I would assume that. Yeah, this would be the last one for today, guys. Something ain't right. And yeah, both these are the same thing. <laughs> Come on. This is the... <sighs> we, need, we need one which inserts into this and locks this whole pack. Ah, oh, God. Maybe the guy who was fixing this one also had a bad day. And he thought, yeah, I'll take whatever this and I'll fix this. I just having he has a straight face and just okay we'll fix this we'll fix this with this fix this with this and that's all he doesn't mind what he's doing he just do does his job whether it's right or wrong he just keeps a straight face and does it that's all and anyways and with that thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode of ready to react so not ready random reactions i'm doing some random reactions every week so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this stuff and catch you guys later. Until then, hope you guys subscribe if you haven't. Keep those notifications on and because I'll be posting it regularly. And follow me on Twitch, Discord, join my Discord, follow my Instagram for regular updates. Everything linked down below. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy and peace out.